I finally remember George Barvelt. He's near the top of my hug list of people who contributed great ideas and devices that help us to take better care of our patients. I remember giving talks about the Barvelt in Europe and Latin America, and it took a while to convince Pharmacia, one of the six con companies that in turn owned the device, uh, to introduce it to those places. But I still wasn't able to get any of the companies to introduce it in the developing world until Alan Robin, one of my heroes, connected me with the people at Aravind and they were able to make a generic version of it that was launched in 19, in 2011. I went over and spent three weeks teaching the doctors how to put them in. The prologue in the story of the RD is all about the evolution of an affordable aqueous drainage implant to tackle refractory glaucoma in resource poor communities in the developing world. To put things in perspective, an Ahmed glaucoma valve would cost us 350 US dollars, a Barbell glaucoma implant would cost us 700 US dollars, and that too, our dear friend Professor Alan Robin has to carry these units all the way from Baltimore to the city of Madurai situated in the southern part of India. Remember, the per capita monthly income in our part of the developing world stands at 150 US dollars. Now to the epilogue of the story of the RD. It has nothing to do with the affordability, but it's everything to do with the efficacy of the RD. Dr. Paul Palmberg and Dr. Alan Robin helped Oral Lab to get connected with Dr. George Burwell to manufacture a product similar to his design. Without any conditions or considerations, Dr. Burwell offered his design to Oral Lab to manufacture a similar product. Despite technical challenges, Oral Lab manufactured a similar product and they named it as RD. The past decade, we have been able to appreciate the unique advantages of the wonderful design that Professor George Barwell has bequeathed to the Glaucoma Society. We were thrilled to see the low-profile, thin-walled, larger surface area capsules forming around this Barwell-like epispheral plate, which is contoured to the shape of the globe. And to an enormous degree, we were able to take out from the equation those high-domed, thick-walled, localized, encapsulated blebs that were common with the Hamad glaucoma valve, especially in children and young adults. And three years later, I was back and saw an eight-year-old girl whose sight in her only eye had been saved with the Adi version of the Barveld implant. And she had come to give me a hug. And I was able to take that back to the United States and give it to George and thank him for saving the sight of that child and so many other glaucoma patients. Thank you, George. We truly believe that Professor George Powell, with a twinkle in his eyes and a broad smile on his lips, will continue to receive thousands of warm hugs from children all across the developing world and specifically from the most remote villages in our state of Tamil Nadu. Our lab offered RD at one tenth of the market price and so far about 14,000 implants are made in 67 countries. Take a bow, Professor George Bawell. The glaucoma community, especially in the developing world, is truly, deeply and forever indebted to you. For George Bawell, kindness and legacy will be remembered through these implants and many more implants that will happen in the future. On behalf of our lab, I thank Dr. George Bawell. May your soul rest in peace.